Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for you. Welcome to my show. If you're wondering why my head's all wet, it's because I was just out in a hurricane. Um, it was kind of by accident. Uh, you know, we'd been waiting all day for this hurricane to come and it never came. Well, not never came. It was taking its own sweet time. So we went for a walk to the beach and lo and behold, the first band came. So I've got a wet head, but dinner must go on and some hurricane liqueur must go on. My next preservation of tomatoes for you is freezing them. Now, let me just show you. This is a frozen tomato. Now, these can be fresh from your garden, or these can just be when a tomato you feel like is about to go and, and you haven't used it, just put them in a Ziploc bag. And when it's full, that's when you're gonna make what I'm gonna show you, this amazing goulash that my mom and I make a lot. Like this one started to go, and so I just cut the top off of it and shoved it in my bag. And I know when it's time to make goulash, it's when I have a full gallon bag of frozen preserved vegetables. So I'm gonna show you how to make this dish, and I'm gonna show you a few of those video clips of me at the beach when I shouldn't have been there. All right, we're gonna put about a tablespoon of olive oil in the bottom of a pan, and then we're gonna put a pound and a half of ground beef in one large onion. I'm using some fresh ground beef here, guys, and it is so good. Then we're gonna put a big heaping tablespoon scoop of my homemade minced garlic. Please watch that recipe. I'll put it right up above right now for you to watch after. And we are gonna get this all fried up. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. That's a real little spoon, so that's probably a teaspoon. And a lot of pepper. I'm sure I add more pepper along the way too. You gotta have lots of pepper. So our first step is we're going to fry all this meat up and get these onions softened and just get these first flavors all blended together. Chop up your meat nice and small pieces. Next, we are putting in paprika. Shoot, just, just take the lid off and put a good tablespoon in there. Later, I put another capful in, so you can put two capfuls in right away at the beginning, which is about two tablespoons. Once our meat is all browned and blended, we are going to add the tomatoes. Just put those frozen tomatoes in their hole. Oops, make sure all the stickers are off the tomatoes. And we're just gonna cover this and let these tomatoes get soft. This is so much fun to make. This is about 15 minutes in and the tomatoes are starting to get soft. I'm just showing you like they're not ready to have the skins peeled. They're not ready to be smushed. Turn up your heat. I have gas, I turn mine higher than medium, probably medium high. And just let these go for a little bit longer and then the next time you open it, like 20 minutes later, this is what you get. So here, you want to just chop up the tomatoes. They're still going to be um, fighting you. They're, they're at the point where they're soft, they're not frozen, but they need time to cook down. Now we need a little beef flavor. I'm using this Mad Guy beef flavor. It's all right. I have it. Normally, I use my Better Than Bullion beef base like for soup and broth but I don't have that right now this is what I have my mom gave it to me I'm just trying to use it up it'll be fine in here so I'm putting some of that in to give it some extra beefy flavor now you'll see that the oh what's that called the belly button what do you call that where the stem meets the tomato that was still on all my tomatoes so I need to start getting those out of the the sauce I don't want that stem belly button thing in there whatever you want to call it and I start breaking up the tomato a bit they're a little stubborn but you just start cutting them and breaking them up trying to get that belly button off there but I don't know what else to call it right now sorry guys and then the skins also will eventually come away from the tomato and you'll take those out too but right now we're just breaking them up trying to get all those stems and at this point you see that the skins are have all been released from the meat of the tomato and so you need to get those out of your soup you don't they're tough and you don't want those left in your soup so 
you know, just a couple times you'll go through and look for tomato skins and just take them out. Needs more paprika. I'm putting my other tablespoon of paprika in now. You can put them both in at the beginning, like I had said. And I'm going to add a little more of this beef flavoring, which also has salt in it. So if you don't want to use beef flavoring, you may just want to add some more salt. Okay, it's been cooking for a while. What do we have here? Ooh la la, we have some magnificent goulash that is going to be so good with pasta. So I'm going to just break up the rest of the tomatoes, get rid of any more tomato belly buttons that I need to find and um, tomato skins. And it's now time to boil your pasta. Now I like using a elbow pasta or my favorite corkscrew pasta for this. Our goulash is all done. It is absolutely spectacular looking. Mm. You can tell those tomatoes were not canned. Absolutely superb. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for you. I hope you make this, you preserve your tomatoes, freeze them, it's so easy. And this recipe is absolutely spectacular. It would be great if you could support me by subscribing below. And I would also love to hear from you with either a thumbs up or a comment. Not too sure about walking to the beach. But we're gonna do it anyway. It's awful dark over there. We're gonna get caught in the rain. Okay, I'm not sure how smart this is. Um, but we're not the only ones. Okay. Seriously, this is the first band we've had. We thought we'd make it here before the band. I'm drenched. I'm drenched already. Okay, we're we're waiting it out underneath a palm tree. Um, it's kind of terrible. How do you see it out there? Lousy. It's kind of bandy. Yeah, I mean. Seriously, I was bitching at home, like, when's that storm getting here? And that, this is the first real band, so, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we made it. We're a block from the house. Um, yeah, it got dangerous <laughs> quick. We're the two, we're the, they were gonna be in the news. Florida man, Florida woman, and Florida Bonesy. Uh, hit by power cable because they were out of the street.